Are you ready for me to go back home? Yes. What is up vlog? Welcome to officially the last Lost in Texas vlog. It has been a while since the last vlog that I filmed. Probably you guys are watching this all back to back so it doesn't seem like a long time has passed. I think a week has passed since the last time that we vlogged. Eliza's here driving. We're currently going to his house. But a lot happened. So the last time that I vlogged, I think it was starting to snow. It snowed a lot. It turned into a blizzard. And so things got crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so we stayed at Eliza's um, uncle and aunt's house for three days, I think. Because the power went out in, at Eliza's house. And like the whole family, we had to leave because it was freezing cold. And then the water went out, and it, a lot of a lot of things happened, guys. But we're fine. We're okay. We survived the, that blizzard, which was really crazy. I never experienced a blizzard. I don't think you have experienced a blizzard either, right? Because it doesn't uh, really snow here that much. Well, no, but in Colorado, when I was little, there was oh, blizzards. And stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, Elijah was saying that here in Texas, when 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 there's blizzards, like Texas is not a state that it usually snows that much, so. Um, people are just not prepared and the government is not prepared to handle something like a blizzard um, And also the pipes and stuff because like yeah, the pipes have been busting over here and a lot of houses getting destroyed from the water Yeah, I'm pretty sure like by the time that you guys are watching this you guys know about the blizzard that just happened and you guys have seen tons of TikToks and and memes and and just posts everywhere about how bad it was here in Texas Well, we were here in the middle of it Eliza's parents are still staying with their uncle because their pipes are not doing that well at the house. Yeah, we're about, um, to, we're about to head back, but the, the snow, it was a snowstorm, the snowstorm was called uh, Uri, Yeah, uh, U-R-I. It's probably gonna stay as something kind of historical and interesting thing is like, the more you look in the news, they'll update you on um, like almost like 75% of the, the state, specifically the United States was covered in snow. So. Yeah. And it hadn't snowed over here like that much in years. Yeah, they said like to the 80s maybe, this bad. Yeah. yeah, like that bad. So me and Eliza and Eliza's sister, my other best friend, Lindy, we've been staying at her boyfriend's apartment. So because we were a lot of people staying at um, Eliza's um, uncle's apartment. We were 14, we were two, we were three families in one apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a lot of people in, in a small apartment. So we decided to stay at the other apartment and just not be so many people on top of each other. But we were having a good time anyways. But yeah, now we're driving back to the house because I officially leave tomorrow. By the way, I forgot to say, I couldn't leave when I was supposed to leave because <laughs> my flight got canceled because of the snowstorm. The last vlog that you guys watched, I was saying, oh, I'm gonna leave tomorrow. Well, I couldn't leave. I had to stay another extra week because of the snowstorm. It was too, it was too much. So they canceled all the flights. I had to move my flight for the next weekend. And yeah, I stayed another week. Now, like I said, we're driving, driving back to Eliza's house to pick up my suitcase and all the crap that I've bought on this trip. I bought way too much. We're gonna go to the post office, mail my stuff because it doesn't fit, like everything doesn't fit in my suitcase. Even though I brought an extra suitcase, all of my stuff doesn't fit. So, confessions of a shopaholic. So we're gonna go to the post office, get a box, ship my stuff, we're gonna go back to the apartment. We can't stay at Eliza's house because like I said, the pipes are still not well. They're like busted and stuff. And then I leave tomorrow at, in the afternoon. I leave at 12 p.m. going back to Puerto Rico. Are you ready for me to go back home? Yes. <laughs> he's not, he's gonna miss me. We all know he's gonna miss me. Also wanted to mention, Sorry for my appearance, like, we've been through a blizzard, 
not living in our house. <laughs> we, we living out of, living out of literally just a bag. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we've been just hopping around. A lot of days without showering because there was no water. <laughs> and we were all, and by the way, at one point we were 14 and a half. Yes, 14, 14 in a no, two house. bedroom apartment. <laughs> yeah, two bedroom apartment. And we were, we had to all had to take shifts and taking showers. Yes, and like taking five minute showers. Yeah. Not fun. Like, not fun. Sure that the hot water still was running. People got their cha chance to take a shower. Yeah. Also, I've bought more stuff that I didn't get to vlog because I, I just wasn't in the mood to vlog like all the blizzard and stuff. Like it was a lot. And but yeah, I just wanted to say that I did go to Target again. I'm still obsessed with Target. My obsession for Target is still thriving I, I i love target and i had to buy a lot more stuff yesterday and i bought more music and i bought more books and i bought clothes and i'm done i'm done i'm done buying i i promise i'm done no, buying not. no he's not yes no, i am not. i'm done <laughs> no he's not no he's not i'm done buying no he's not yes yes because i'm leaving tomorrow so there's no point in buying more stuff when i'm gonna buy a box and ship all my stuff because it doesn't you're fit driving, my two you're supposed suitcase. to be driving dude you're supposed, you're supposed to, be, to driving. be driving why are your hands not on the wheel exactly hands your hands on the wheel. are supposed to be on the wheel both of them ignore him update on the snow there's barely any snow anymore like it's all pretty much melted back in the car just wanted to let you guys know that we cleaned all my stuff up picked up all the stuff packed it um, like I said, I bought too much stuff, doesn't fit in the bag, in my two suitcases. So we were gonna go buy a box, I had, like I had said before, and try to ship it. But today the post office is closed, so Eliza's gonna have to do that after I leave, because tomorrow's a Sunday, I'm, that, that'll be open on a Sunday anyways. So he's gonna have to ship everything to me after. Um, but yeah, now we're just gonna go back to the apartment. Okay, so I know we're back in the car. This vlog has been all in the car basically, but just wanted to update you guys. We went to the house, now we're just gonna go grab dinner and we're gonna go to this cheesecake factory because that was one of the places that I really wanted to go over here with my friends. So I'm gonna go with Eliza and we're gonna grab some cheesecake factory because that's my favorite restaurant and I can't wait to eat because I'm so hungry. But yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, After boy. that, we're just gonna go back to the apartment and chill. And then the day is just over. And then tomorrow, I will keep on vlogging. It's gonna be in the same vlog. I'm gonna just vlog me going back home to Puerto Rico. But I'm gonna show you guys, once we get to the, the restaurant, what I ordered. Excuse the terrible, terrible lighting, guys. But we made it to the Cheesecake Factory, finally. After going to several places, several cheesecake factories, they were closed. This one was full. We had to wait an hour, but finally we're here in the cheesecake factory, and I am starving. Elijah's sitting across from me, so behind the camera. And yeah, now we're just waiting for our food. Just got our food. I got the fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Elijah, what did you get? Some jambalaya, something. I am so hungry, so I'm gonna just eat. Also just got some cheesecake after eating some delicious food. You can't come to the Cheesecake Factory without having some cheesecake. So of course, had to get a cheesecake. Just some original cheesecake with strawberries on it. Good morning vlog, today is the next day. Today I leave back to Puerto Rico. How sad are you? Very sad, but I'm, I'm excited for future things. Elijah wants to come back to Puerto Rico, so that's why he's excited. I am excited to go so he can come back. <laughs> so we're gonna have breakfast now in the car for McDonald's, and after that, Elijah's gonna drop me off at the airport. So sad.
just got here to the airport, getting down from the car. Elijah's gonna say bye. We're gonna take my things out of the trunk, but. How did it feel being on the camera for uh, about two weeks? <laughs> Good. I didn't want to lose weight. <laughs> I am super sad that I had to leave. Yeah, now I'm gonna go inside the airport. Finally made it to Puerto Rico. I'm back home. I'm back home, guys. Made it back to Puerto Rico. As you can see, I'm here in my bedroom. And bittersweet feelings, honestly. Texas was amazing. Texas was more than I thought, more than I expected. I, from all the states that I've been in the US, Texas is definitely, I think, one of my favorites. Other than New York, Texas is my favorite. And like favorite as in, I can see myself, not that I would move there, but I could see myself living in Texas because I felt such a homey feeling and I just loved it. Every Everywhere that my friends took me, I loved. Texas so much and I honestly cannot wait to go back. I can't wait to go back and visit my friends. I can't wait to go back and create new memories and visit new cities and towns and places. I already miss Texas and I miss my friends so much. But of course, I had to come back home. I am excited to be back home because I have a lot of motivation to do a lot of projects that I have already been working on. A lot of big things are coming this year and I'm very, very excited. And I just feel like such an energy to keep on working for the stuff that I wanna do with this channel, with my other channel, and just in my personal life, just a lot of motivation and excitement. So I wanted to hop on here one last time on this series, my Lost in Texas series. To close it up, conclude this amazing trip of going to Texas and being with my friends and just experiencing so many new things. This has been one of my favorite trips and I I am so happy that I got to practically vlog pretty much everything. It's crazy how much I was able to vlog and how happy I am that I did because now I have these memories to look back on and I'll always remember. And I could just go back to these videos and watch them whenever I want and whenever I feel sad. And whenever I, f I miss Eliza and Lindy, I could just, obviously I could call them and I could FaceTime them, but I can go back to these videos and watch them and, and see how we had such an amazing time together. And I'm just so happy that I have these videos and I have this channel. I wanna say thank you for everybody that has been watching this series and all these videos. I know it's a lot of videos and they're probably very long. I still haven't edited none of these videos. By the time that you're watching this, of course, it's already on YouTube, but I haven't edited none of these videos. I'm gonna start editing today and I'm excited for you guys to see all these adventures that I had in Texas. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please share these videos, share the playlist, share the Lost in Texas playlist, like the videos, and subscribe to this channel. Oh my God, it means so much to me if you could subscribe to this channel and keep supporting these videos and my adventures. And if you guys don't know this yet, but I do have merch, Lost in Paradise merch. It is linked down below. I have some stickers, I have some pins, and I'm working on some t-shirts, which is gonna be amazing. They're gonna be out pretty soon. Maybe by the time that you're watching this, they will already be out. I guess I will catch you guys in the next adventure, probably here in Puerto Rico, probably in some other country. Who knows, maybe again in Texas. It's been a good one, and I will catch you guys in the next adventure. Bye.
Take me from your heart.